today we will be doing the application part of perturbation theory so we will be applying the perturbation theory to the helium atoms so let us consider helium atom as you know it is having two electrons and plus two charged nucleus it is having so we will be applying schrodinger wave equation to helium atom using perturbation theory so first order perturbation we will be applying uh, that is first order perturbation of non degenerate system so uh, before applying that a few things we should clarify that is uh, we should know that the mass of the nucleus that is uh, infinitely greater than the mass of electrons and secondly the potential energy of the system of two electrons uh, that will be given by a formula to calculate the potential energy of the system let us uh, understand this diagram this is the first electron this is the second electron this is the distance between the two electrons and uh, r12 will be telling you about the repulsion of the electrons uh, this distance is r1 this distance is r2 the potential energy in this case will be minus z e square upon r1 and the potential energy in this case will be minus z e square upon r2 so the total potential energy that will be given by minus z e square upon r1 minus z e square upon r2 plus e square upon r12 the hamiltonian of the system that will be the summation of the kinetic and the potential energy now kinetic energy as you already know that is given by this equation that is minus h cut square upon 2m uh, del 1 square plus del 2 square and potential energy we have just calculated that is minus z e square upon r1 minus z e square upon r2 plus e square upon r12 so uh, since we know the schrodinger wave equation for the unperturbed hamiltonian that is uh, hi is equal to e psi so we will be putting the value of h from here this complete value you will be putting here psi is equal to e psi now in next step you will be doing the rearrangement so for doing the rearrangement this portion i will be taking outside and remaining i will keep as it is that is this psi plus e square psi r12 is equal to e psi so in perturbation theory we have already done this step that is uh, hamiltonian equation we have split into perturbed and unperturbed part so that is same thing so h uh, is equal to h0 plus h1 where h0 this will be the unperturbed part and this will be the perturbed part so this is having the value minus h cut square 2m uh, del 1 square del 2 square minus z e square r1 minus z e square r2 and the unperturbed part uh, that will be having this value uh, so in our uh, previous equation when we were doing the perturbation theory the wave function of the unperturbed state we have expressed as h naught psi naught is equal to e naught psi naught so uh, we know the value of psi naught we know the value of e naught so we will be putting that values because psi naught will be uh, psi 1 naught, psi 2 naught and so on and uh, e naught will be e1 naught, e2 naught and uh, these values we will be putting in this equation. So h naught will be given by this equation minus h cut square upon 2m0 del 1 square del 2 square minus this psi naught is equal to e naught psi naught. So this will be further uh, now with respect to psi naught value psi naught is psi 1 naught and psi 2 naught uh, so we will be putting the values of psi 1 naught and psi 2 naught so first equation will be for psi 1 naught and second equation it will be for psi 2 naught now in this what I have done is this h cut square and 2mo I have taken this side so when it goes that side 2mo it will come in the numerator and h square it will be in the denominator and then again I am bringing it back so it will get converted into plus sign so this is just a rearrangement type 
and from rearrangement we are getting this equation so similar similar equation we will be finding out for psi 2 naught also so i will be getting this equation for psi 2 naught now this uh, psi 1 naught is having this value and psi 2 naught it is having this value uh, only here it is different so uh, you will be calculating the unperturbed energy first that will be e naught is equal to e1 naught plus e2 naught so e, uh, let us say uh, for ground state e1 naught is equal to e2 naught that will be equal to minus z square omega upon n square and first order perturbation energy e1 it, that will be the average value of the perturbation energy so that will be equal to 2 z square omega so in terms of normalized uh, uh, function uh, this energy it will be given by psi naught star h1 psi naught d tau so you know the value of psi naught uh, so you will be putting in that so psi naught is psi 1 naught and psi 2 naught uh, psi 1 naught is having this value psi 2 naught is having this value and further solving it you are getting this equation now this thing i am replacing by rho 1 rho 1 uh, actually it is having a value 2 z r1 upon a naught Similarly, this will be replaced by rho 2 that is having value 2 z r2 a2. So from this you can get the value of r1 and r2 and uh, finally uh, you will be getting the equation for the energy. Now in terms of spherical polar coordinates that is in terms of r theta and phi, uh, the tau it will be given by this equation that is r1 square dr1 sin theta1 d theta1 d phi1 and r2 square dr2 sin theta2 d theta2 and d phi2 now we will be integrating it uh, to find out the energy so integration uh, for first electron it will be 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi and 0 to um, infinite similarly for second electron uh, these will be the limits so on integrating uh, this whole equation i can represent by uh, psi 1 theta uh, psi 1 phi and uh, psi 2 not 1 upon r12 psi 1 not psi 2 not dz so when we integrate this whole equation you will be getting this 5 upon 8 z or uh, you can write 5 upon 8 z e square upon a not and a not is having value so when you solve uh, this equation you will be finally getting this value so total energy will be e not plus e1 so e naught is minus z square and e1 is 5 upon 8 z now z for helium atom it will be 2 atomic number so when you put the value you will be getting minus 11 upon 4 this is how you will be applying the perturbation theory to the helium atom or you can say to the more complicated systems